Hello, my name is Obsidian Man, and I'm here on the starter station today, just starting around. And um, I thought that since I heard about something really cool today, I'd make a video about it. And the only reason I'm doing that in Interstellar Rift is because, um, because I, it's, this game is a nice game, and I just want to walk around in it a little bit, I guess. And then also because the topic I'm going on is going to eventually lead into this game and something that I would kind of like to see in it. But anyway. Um, I'm just gonna go to the Silicon Get. Actually, uh, hold on. Oh, that's right. Long range ship is probably out of range. Uh, let's go to the mining station. See if it's in range there. Anyway, so um, yeah, I heard about this really, really cool thing today. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but it's called, or well, yeah, it is. It is the um, the international flag. Of planet Earth, it's not there still. Anyway, but um, yeah, the international flag of planet Earth, which um, I'll throw a picture up there so you can see what it's like. It's basically like um, seven rings that make like a flower, and the flower is supposed to represent like the fact that there's life on Earth, and I guess the seven rings kind of represent the seven continents on Earth, and um, the blue, but the background which is blue represents like um like the water on earth because the earth is like covered in water you know well, i'm trying to push the starter station closer to the other ships so we can get teleport but yeah it's the um what else is there on it the um the fact that they're all the rings are linked together and it's also like how talking about we're not talking about but, like representing how all life on earth is connected because like in, whether indirectly or directly you know like if you ever taken a biology class you'll know about how like every oh it should be in range every life form is connected to every other life form so that's like really cool how they did that and uh, i range i'll just push a little closer but anyway i just it's really cool because like you never hear about you always hear about like different countries and stuff but when you go into space you're not just leaving your country behind you're leaving your entire planet behind so you don't just represent your country, you're representing the Earth, like, the entire planet. So this was, the idea is that, like, oh, my voice cracked. The idea is that, like, um, you would fly that flag, the flag of Earth, while going into space. So, you know, like, if you go to Mars, that's, that was on the website, which, I'll throw the website up there, the URL. On Mars, if you go to, to Mars, um, you would you would fly that flag because, like, you represent Earth on Mars. Let's see if you can get this closer. So, that, like, the colonies on Mars would be, have that flag. Let me just try to get this in range. Alright, that should be in range. Okay. So, um, yeah, it made me think. It would be kind of cool to have the the flag of planet Earth in this game, in the, in the interstellar Earth, so I could put it on my ships and stuff, you know. And then I thought, wait a minute. Well, first what I thought was, we could be cool to have flags in the game or some kind of decal you could put on your ship, which is one of the things I was I was thinking of talking about. There you go, long range ship. What I tell you. And then the next thing I thought of was, wait a minute, what planet are we from in this game? Because in the and if you look on the website, there's not really anywhere that it says what planet you're from. I mean, you would assume, I suppose, that you would be from Earth, because you know everything's in English, and Earth is the only planet I know of that speaks English. So that's one one thing, and that we we also don't know like what our character looks like. But I'm pretty sure that eventually, when we do get like third person or just the ability to take off our helmets and stuff, then like multiplayer, we could see each other. See what it looks like because we don't we don't even know what we are. I mean, yes, it, we, it was it would be, I guess, the most obvious choice that we'd be humans, because that's just you know it seems right that we're humans. But we really don't know. We don't know what planet we're from. We might be like we we could be humans, but like maybe humans from a colony, like maybe Earth was destroyed. We've been living on a colony for millions of years. Maybe maybe that's that's true. We never know. I mean, like you know. It's like, I keep saying like, I need to stop that. Um, but yeah, so 
like flags on the ship. I mean, like, could you imagine that? Like going around your ship and then like you say, oh yeah, this is the ship belonging to this faction or this planet, you know? And like, I represent this planet, you know? You know what I'm saying? You guys are getting me right. Let's go to Star Station. We can't reach the Star Station. But we can reach the Silicon Guitar. Like, I keep saying, like, I need to stop doing that. I This video is going to be kind of short, I guess. I'll go mining. Then. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think about having, like, flags on your ship and then, like, what planet are we from? Because that would be cool to know, don't you think? Yes, asteroid field. Hmm. I'm not actually sure what to do in this video anymore. That was kind of all I wanted to talk about. I guess I could talk about the, uh, the flag some more. So it was the flag, as far as I know, was a project, a like a like a graduation project that somebody made in Sweden. Um, I forget what college or was it college? I think it was a college. Some university. I can't remember but what it was. I also can't remember the kid, the guy's name. But, um, it was, yeah, it was a graduation project that he made. He did. And it's actually really cool. I mean, could, could you imagine? Like, if, if it does become, because it's like, it's just a proposal now, like, for the official flag of planet Earth. But could you imagine, like, years down in the future, when we're, like, we're in space and we're, like, saying, Oh yeah, this flag was designed. It was a high school student's high school, yeah, high school student, not high school, college, college student. I think it's college student. Blue text will tell me. But um, yeah, student, a student did this. You know, I think a student also made a, the flag for like Hawaii or something. I don't know. I'll have to look that up too, and then have blue text put that up on the screen too. But um, yeah, I mean like. If, if you haven't thought about, like, if it hasn't crossed your mind that we are living future history, then there's something to blow your mind for you. Mind blown of the day. Well, not really mind blown, but, like, realization of the day that we, right now, are living out future history, if that makes sense. Because, like, we have history nowadays, you know, like, um, Revolutionary War, for example. America, oh, I can still hear it. America being independent from um, Britain, Great Britain, and that's all history to us. But back then, it hadn't been history yet. So it's like in the future, which is now com compared to then, it's history. So we are living out future history of our. Oh, that's not where it goes. Duh, of our planet, which is really cool concept when you think about it. Just doing some mining here. Casual mining talk. You know how it goes. Sit down with your friends, do a little bit of mining, do a little bit of talking. It's just, just so cool. I'll, 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 pull, I'll throw out more pictures. I'll just cover the entire screen with pictures of the flag. Because it's really cool. And I like it. Is it just called Silicon Getter Mining Ship? I mean, that's all. It's, it's what it does. It's not just for getting silicon. Right? I mean, it, it's, it was specifically designed to get silicon, but it's really just a mining ship. Mm -hmm. Take it mining. I should make actually a ship. I did not click teleport, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, it wasn't fast enough. All right. Low power. Oh, it's got to charge back up. But yeah, I should I should make a ship that has an extractor and a refinery on it, but have you seen how tall refineries are? Like, have you actually gone into the editor and looked at a refinery? Like, it's really big. Like, I think it's three stories tall. Well, not stories, but three floors. Like, you know, this is one floor from here to here. I think it's like three or four of those tall. I mean, this one's only two tall, which I could fit into the uh, thing, but... Oh, let's take this. But it's pretty big, and I want to put the flag of planet Earth on it. Because it's so big, and the flag is, eh, the flag's not that big, but you know, it's pretty big. Now we'll teleport this time. <clears throat> More about the flag. Uh, the flag is two to three ratio. Yes, two to three, which is the most common 
ratio for flags in you know, like height and length is the two three is the most common ratio for countries. Um, I mean there are other ones like there's one to one which is just a square, and then there's like um, five to eight which is the golden ratio. Some countries do that, and then there's there's some countries that do like non-rectangulars. Like I think there's only one actually. I forget which one, but there is one. Trust me. There's one. I'll, it'll go up on the screen and also show you the flag. It's kind of a bit wonky, but it's okay. Let's get the copper first. So what do you guys think of the, um, the flag? The flag of planet Earth? Because I think it's really cool, but that's just my opinion, so, you know, leave your opinions in the comments. And then also, what do you think about having, like, decals on your ships? I mean, like, not, like, painting them, like... They're, I'm pretty sure the devs are working on, like, coloring the outside of your ship so it's not just, like, this coal black. Which, it would be nice to color them sometimes. I mean, they don't really blend in with the background, because it's... Actually, they do. But, like, sometimes don't. But they sometimes do. It's, it's weird. But, like, actually putting decals on them. Like, flags. Or, like, your country's flag, or the flag of planet Earth, or the flag of whatever planet we are from in this game. And then, also, what planet are we from in this game? You know? All kinds of stuff. It's really cool. Very interesting concept. Look, you can see the mining station moving. It does move. I thought stations might be stationary, but apparently they're not stationary. They're just stations. Not airy. They're just airy stations. With air in them, but they're not stationary stations. What? The what? Oh, the, it got hit by an asteroid. That's why I did that. Yeah, that's why I had moved out of range in the last episode, because it got hit by an asteroid. That was weird seeing it get hit by one there just then. Must have been a pretty big asteroid to have knock it that fast, unless it was moving that fast. Actually, it would have had to have been moving that fast, but I didn't see it moving that fast, so what happened there? I don't know. That's weird. Somebody call the physics department and tell them that the laws are broken. Um, yeah. Mining station. Back to the future. I mean, mining station. The future, of course, being history for the f even farther future. Because we're living out present future history for the future. Does that make sense? Am I just not making sense with all that future talk? I could go in on about, like, the bootstrap paradox and stuff and other kinds of things. That'll make you even more confused, but I don't think I will. Because that wouldn't be very nice, would it? Actually, it might. I don't know. Do you guys like the bootstrap paradox and or other paradoxes which may exist? I do. They're pretty cool. I like paradoxes because they're paradoxes. What can I say? But, you know, paradoxes are cool. Kind of like bow ties. Ooh, let's get some more fuel. Because we have plenty of oxygen. Remember that oxygen glitch I found? I don't know if it's a glitch or if I should exploit it. It didn't make sense. You know what I mean. Like, I don't know if I'll be actually split. I'm pretty sure it'll not be worth exploiting, but look at all this oxygen I have here. I mean, like, really? This is quite a bit. I don't think I need any more anytime soon. What else we got in here? 600 of that. This video is quite entertaining, isn't it? Me running around and talking about flags and mining. And flags. Very entertaining. And also, you notice that I am teleporting a lot in this episode and it hasn't crashed once, which is a sure sign that the crashing bug with the teleporting is probably fixed. Although, you can never really know until you test it one more time. I don't think it's gonna crash. It didn't. Yeah, that crashing bug seems to be fixed, have been fixed a long time ago actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I think I'm gonna take this oxygen back to the mining station because uh, I'm gonna leave that there. Actually, let's see if the bug still exists because it might have magically disappeared. Nope. It's. Oh wait. Ooh, I think it's been slightly fixed because before it was like a thousand and something, and now it's less than that. Eh, let's wait for all the water to mine. How much is left in this asteroid? Uh, 
Oh, we don't know. Not that much. Not that much. Underpowered. Ooh. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. Guys, it's underpowered. It's blinking on and off. I feel like I'm in an episode of Star Trek. Why are there two houses up there when it does that? That's weird. Maybe it's because the teleporter was charging. Let's check the teleporter status. Open up this. No, not that one. Device manager. Back. Go back. No, I want to go back. I want to go back. Let me go back. Why is it so laggy? Uh, it's pretending it's the teleporter. Duh. Move away from the teleporter. Let me go back. That's better. Device manager. Oh, it's full power now. Must have charged up while I wasn't looking. Uh, silly old teleporters. Always crashing the game and then uh, tricking me about how much power it has. So, remember guys, in the comments, flags, sh ships, um, and more flags, right? And planets. And just which one we live on. Those guys, the, right? Mm -hmm. That sounds right. That's what I was talking about, right? I've been paying attention. You, you know, you know your teachers, Batman. You're not, you're not paying attention. You know. And I have not been paying attention to what I'm saying. Apparently, not my fault. I blame the weather, the solar winds, and the asteroids. That's what I blame for everything. It's all their fault. We should all blame the asteroids for crashing into us because they are very mean when it comes to crashing into us. Open. Thank you, door. Run to the door! We didn't make it. We were so close, and then we didn't make it. We made it that time, though. Oh, yeah, making it through doors. How much is left on here? Eh, nothing. Okay. Get the copper. Oh yeah, getting that copper. I want to throw the flag up on the screen again just to give myself a hard time when I'm editing. I'm going to put it all over the screen again. Just kidding, I'm not. Blue Text is probably very mad at me right now for telling that that I was going to do that and then not actually doing it, right? Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here because that's all I have to talk about. Um, yeah, flags. Those are cool. I, re I quite like flags. They're very interesting. Especially the one about the Earth. That one's a good one. It's a great show. You should watch it. It's not a show. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Getting around on top of this thing. So, like the video because you know you liked it. Because if you live on Earth, you probably liked the video because it's about Earth. It's about your home planet, man. How can you not like it? It's, it's the best. So yeah, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like the video, like it. If you want to see more of this game and possibly me talking about planet Earth and its flags, then um, subscribe. Subscribe, Avery Nerd. And um, also share it because that's really funny when you do that. I just, I just laugh. It's, it's so funny. I, I laugh all day, every day. Did I park my ship up there or down there? Because I feel like it's down there. You see it? We're rotating. That's cool. Who hit us? Hey, look, there's our ship. Someone crashed into us. I feel like we should bring the other ship back. The long range one before it gets out of range, which it's about to. Quickly, beam aboard! Quickly, before it goes out of range! Beam me up! Yay! Okay, I'm gonna fly this ship back, and and then I'm gonna I'm gonna end the episode right here, guys. Um, where is the station? See you later, my friends. Mining station, right there. Pretty cool. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video. You guys ready for this? You're not you're not prepared. You don't know you don't know what's coming when I end the video. You guys have no idea what's going to happen when I end the video. But I'm going to end the video right here. So, good day, everybody. I'm ending it now.
Uh, goodbye.